Um, thank you for the organizer for giving us this opportunity to share our work. So this is my disclosure. So one of the uh, major uh, important goal um, for uh, psoriasis treatment is really to achieve uh, rapid, uh, complete clear skin. Uh, there has been uh, different evidence that show uh, IL-17, IL-23 signaling pathway may play a distinct but overlapping role for uh, psoriasis apart from physiology. Um, so one of the objective of our study is really trying to um, understand this um, by using the data from our extra trial. So the extra trial is a head-to-head uh, -head, um, trial to comparing exocuzumab and um, uh for, for, for patients that are suffering from psoriasis. Uh, the patient will randomly assign one-to-one uh, -one to XCO or uh, guzacumab. Uh, and then a subset of patients actually uh, we have skin biopsy such that we could profile their transcriptome uh, in the baseline and subsequent week of the treatment. So we jump uh, directly to the, uh, to the, to the results. Um, so what we, what we want to check uh, is to first uh, to understand uh, for those molecular uh, changes that caused by the Xeal or the Cusacumab uh, treatment, uh, what are the genes that could be enriched? Um, so we, uh, so in the, X, in, in, in the column here representing genes that are down-regulated uh, in the exit group uh, in the week one, two, or four, or they are down-regulated by the Cusacumab group in one, two, or four. And then uh, on the uh, rows here representing genes that are induced uh, by uh, different cytokines in keratinocytes. And the uh, dark color color representing more significant uh, p-value. And we, we, we show that the uh, signatures from R17, TN of R36 uh, tends to be enriched uh, in both groups, but XC groups seems to be uh, exhibit an earlier uh, significant enrichment. So the uh, next thing that we uh, want to do is to uh, devise a, um, a, a, a metric we call like a normalization metric. Um, so what we did was trying to come up with a gene sets that are coming from uh, different cytokines and then look at the expression for these gene sets in the normal skin uh, to come up with a like 95% uh, interval set of like normal, normal range. And then we then ask for each sample, uh, are those gene expressions are kind of encompassed by this normal range, okay? Um, so the matrix uh, values are uh, listed in, in here in the y-axis, okay? So both um, XC and GUS treatment uh, seems to increase the percentage of normalization over time. Uh, but then for, uh, especially for the XC, it uh, again, uh, achieve uh, the normalization, uh, higher, higher normalization value more rapidly, okay? Uh, so as an example, uh, for those uh, genes that are induced by R17, uh, it goes from like 40% from the baseline to uh, close to like 70% uh, uh, by week four. So um, we, this is this like bio-RNA-seq data. So uh, the other thing that we, what we could do is to induce what are the potential uh, uh, cellular changes um, by using like independent cell markers uh, from different immunocytes. And then what we're seeing is just similar to uh, what we shared earlier uh, for about the uh, uh, cytokine-induced carotinocytes uh, uh, gene signatures. What we, we show in here is the genes are down-regulated by the XCO or uh, Gusacumab group in the different weeks. Uh, and then on the rows here representing uh, the gene markers uh, for different immunocytes. So um, the, the CD4 uh, markers were enriched and uh, among those down-regulated genes in both groups, but uh, as in the exit group, um, the down regulation for those uh, marker genes for C4 is uh, significant as early as week one. So we jump back to the um, to the uh, normalization metric that we talk about for the carotinocytes, uh, and what we want to do is to see if there's any uh, clinical implications. Okay, so what we did is try to correlate the normalization uh, uh, matrix with the policy change. Okay, uh, and then so. Uh, first, if you look only at the x-axis here, you see um, there will be a higher positive change in both X and Gusakama group uh, by week four when compared with, with the uh, other weeks. So both Gusakama and X uh, show uh, positive correlations uh, with our normalizations, which indicate that our metric does have a clinical implications. Uh, and then, uh, but then for the XC, XC group, uh, the, the, the uh, correlation is uh, much more significant uh, when comparing with the uh, with the Gusakamab group. 
So, uh, so in conclusion, um, so XC rapidly suppressed uh, the L17 response uh, in stratic skin. Okay, we use independent uh, in vitro uh, carcinocytes data uh, signatures to 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 really uh, demonstrate that, uh, and then XC could also led to quick normalization uh, of the transcriptomic changes. We used the normal skin expression as as a, as a reference, uh, and then. Uh, we also show that um, for this normalization metric that is correlated with the uh, with the policy improvements, uh, so it has uh, clinical implications. So with that, uh, I'd like to um, thank uh, all of my colleagues, and uh, I'll be presenting um, this tomorrow afternoon at six ten. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, please stop by if I'm um, happy to discuss more. Thanks a lot, Alex. Uh, Nicole? Nicole? Great talk. Nice data. So maybe you can comment on this. So the ICSI normalized the gene expression changes more rapidly than the, the gesucumab, yet we've been hearing people talk about longer-term remission when you use gesucumab. So do you think there's a, a mechanistic reason for that? Yeah, yeah, I think that's actually exactly the question that I was like, you know, thinking about when I was <laughs> like, like listening. Um, but yeah, but this is like cytokine signature, uh, like carotinocyte signatures, right? So yeah, I think, yeah, we, we, we have, to, have to link it back to the middle size, you know, of resident memory cell. I think we have to uh, look into that as a system rather than just focusing on that. Uh, I mean, well, in terms of like, you know, looking at what's the um, impact for the carotinocytes, like differentiation all those, then I think mean, what we're showing here is like, that seems to show XC as more. But like, if, if we look into like long term, then I think, yeah, to look into other, other thing, like cells other than creatinine size, yeah. Mary, briefly following on that, because Ixora was, was comparing the two up to, I think, week 24, if I remember correctly, where they're about the same efficacy. Do you have uh, samples to, to look into that again, if there's still a difference between blocking 17 or 23 on a carotinocyte level? That you can actually Sample check on from from patients from Ixora. Oh, you mean from longer yeah, like period of time, week, week sixteen or twenty four? Yeah, uh, well, they, they have clinical data, you know, but uh, may may not be the, be the sample. But yeah, I think that would be good to okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what you know? Like what yeah. Does, yeah. Oh, you don't have samples. That was more or less my yeah. question to look yeah. into. You don't. Yeah. Oh, fortunately. Any other questions? Very briefly. So then we move on. Thanks a lot. Thank you.